Hello everyone, I'm Woman International Master Knarik and I'm using the chesswithknarik.com website to record this video. In this video I want to be analyze another position where we're using the concept of Zugzwang to win. Now uh, here if we look at this position we can see that yes we're wide, we do have an extra rook and an extra pawn um, and the black just has one bishop. Here though we are in a check and uh, when our king moves away, um, that, that's a skewer. Black is going to win the rook behind the king. For example, if I just move my king away, black is going to capture my rook. Even if I capture back the bishop, black is going to capture our bishop as well. And here, this position, this is a draw. We know that this pawn end game, it's a complete draw because uh, here, black has taken the opposition and black won't let me control the key squares of my past pawn. So we saw in previous videos, you can check them for the pawn end games, uh, that if we have a pawn, uh, a past pawn, uh, an extra past pawn, and we want to win and promote, we can only do so if our king controls one of the key squares of that past pawn. And the key squares were just two ranks in front of the pawn and the ones next to it. So here the key squares of the B2 pawn are A4, B4 and C4. If the white king can move to one of those squares, then yes, white is going to be able to win. But here black won't allow us to do that because black just took the opposition by capturing our bishop. And here, whenever we move away, black is also going to take the opposition and not allow us to move to one of the key squares. And we also know that uh, if instead of moving our king, which is, let's say, not doing anything here, instead of moving our king, if we push our pawn, it's going to be a, a bit worse for white, let's say, once or twice, because every time you push your pawn, you are pushing the key squares further from your king, let's further away from your king, let's say here, the key squares for that pawn are uh, b5, a5, and c5, which means that for me to win with white, my white king must occupy one of those squares and it's going to be almost impossible if black doesn't really give those squares away just voluntarily. Uh, black uh, can with simple play uh, not allow our king to get on any of those squares. So going back to the original position, uh, here it's true that we have an extra rook but we're just losing that rook because um, as we saw if we just move away and black captures, okay, and uh, when I'm capturing, black's capturing my bishop. So what if I don't capture? What if I move away my bishop? But then also black is moving away their bishop. And this is again definitely a, a draw because at any uh, time that black uh, wishes, can they can just even give up their bishop for our past pawn. And uh, when they do that, this game is going to be a draw because um, playing with one extra bishop and a king against a king, that's insufficient material. It's going to be a draw. So going back, so here we have a problem. It looks like this game is going to end in a draw if I just do a random move, move away my king, give up my rook. Now, but we can notice something else in this position and try to use that in our favor. For example, here I can easily see that our opponent's king is on the edge of the chessboard and our king being close, we can try to take advantage of that and try to checkmate our opponent uh, if they, if they allow us. For example, I'm thinking that if I move to c5 here and give up my rook, okay, now this black king has no moves to do. All I need to do is check this black king. But I don't have any pieces that check and my pawn, my only pawn that can, that can check here is blocked. So, but what if here, instead of being my position, uh, instead of being my turn, it would be black's turn. If it was black's turn here, black king does not move. Black was going to have to move away their bishop and we could do our checkmate. So going back, going back, if directly I go king to c5 and the bishop is capturing, it's white's turn and white is not able to do the checkmate. It's my turn and I can't do the checkmate. But what, what can I do? Maybe I can just wait and move. When black captures our rook, then I can move to the c5 square, trap the king, give the king no moves to do, and then black will have to move away the bishop, just anywhere, just anywhere on the chessboard, even such a move, trying to attack our bishop. 
but it won't matter because once the black bishop moves away we can just push our pawn and that's going to be a checkmate so going back we can say that here by uh, okay when we move away waiting for black to capture and then when we play to king to c5 here we can say that we just put black in zooks one because no matter what they play on the next turn we're going to be able to um, checkmate and win this game I just want to double check if there was anything else that black could try. For example, here when we move away, okay, what if black doesn't capture our rook? But then what will black play? The king doesn't have many useful moves. For example, the only move that black king has is to b6, but then the king is moving to uh, under a discovered check, which means that we can even capture with a discovered check, we can even win the black bishop. Uh, so going back, okay, if black doesn't capture our rook, what else is black supposed to play? Maybe just play a random random move and wait. But then, again, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can simply now uh, block the attack of the bishop. We didn't lose our rook. We have an extra rook and we're just winning this game. Whenever black captures, we capture back. And that's just winning uh, easy for white with an extra rook and an extra pawn.